Hi YouTubers and welcome to the latest update on Paul's Reefer 450. It's been a long, long, long time since I've done an update. The tank is now 32 months old. And when I done my last update, it was 12 months old. So a lot hasn't changed. Still powered by a Radeon XR30s. Still got two MP40s and is still run by a NIOS 160 skimmer and uh, by Nopox. It's using the Apex dosers to uh, dose both alkalinity, magnesium and calcium and still using the Red Sea color range. So that is completely unchanged. However, a lot else has changed in terms of what I've got is fish, um, corals, and I'll kind of talk about some of that in a moment. But fundamentally, it's been really good. Really enjoyed the hobby. Really enjoyed how the tank has uh, grown up and grown out as well and has really matured uh, quite nicely. And I really found that after 12 months, it's easier to look after the tank, more stable, the tank is uh, more mature. So let's take this off of the tripod and get a bit closer to the tank. So looking at a few corals, candy cane there. That's gotta be at least seven inches wide. That started off as uh, two polyps. Took about eight months to grow, but since then has just grown and grown and grown. Now, one of the things I have found with the tank that it is overgrown. And this is a great example. You've got there a torch, and because that's overgrown, it's now shading the bubble coral. And you can see on the left hand side, it's really, really nice. The bubbles are extended. And on the right hand side, uh, they're not. So at some point, I nearly really to take that torch, cut it back, and behind it is a green torch, which is arguably a lot better, and that's being hidden by it. So I really need to, um, to take that out. And underneath there, there's, you can see just an A-can, just uh, have a look at that. And you can see the polyps are not extended. So that's one of the downsides of a tank that doesn't stop growing. And then look at the middle part here. You've got a tricolor acro. Hystrix, purple stylo, and then a green digi, and all four are just growing into one another. So not the best looking part of the tank, and I really need, do need to uh, hack that back a little bit. But again, as I'm saying, growing really, really nicely. And then if we look at the, the sand bed, this has just got loads of corals on it. Trachophilia there, fragged, a few sunny days and they're still healing. Move along, got a red dragon there and then on data in the bottom left hand corner. Very nice Satosa there. That grew out from a one inch frag. And then I've got a number of chalices that I really like. That one there. And then that one there. Alien Eye, and I've started uh, collecting some Zoas. So you've got a Tubbs Blue, that's a Chaos there, and then Pride of Place here is um, a War Paint Scully. And just moving along, got this lovely pink and green chalice there. And a number of coals have just gone up and up and over here. Got some zoas going on at the back there. Some bam bams. A red. And then here it's got a couple of torches. Gold torch. And there's some more zoas there. In terms of fish, those two there, believe it or not, are fry that started off in this tank. So we found six fry, they then went down to three, and these pair are about 12 months old now. And somewhere else in the tank is another one. And there's a clownfish coming out to see us. Just a 
more corals over over there over the back. Another Satosa. That's a chalice. And then we've got some amphias. So we've got three wreck fish amphias. As you can see, there's a yellow tang in the background. And those of you who have uh, seen previous videos, you would have seen that there was a vampire tang and a regal tang. Both of those got to seven inches big and uh, had to move them on. And I haven't really replaced with that many fish. So there's the, the third fry that's no longer a fry obviously there's the mum we lost the dad uh, because what they do after they have the eggs in the mouth the males then have not eaten for about 30 days and then what happened was he had more eggs in his mouth before he had time to recover and he died of starvation there's not a lot we can we could do about it so I could probably do some more some more fish there's another cardinal just in there and there's the other one there. So in total, about 12 fish. Probably need to go up to about 20. But overall, really, really happy with the tank. Grown out like weeds. Uh, and really needs a bit of a cutback. But really enjoying the hobby. And uh, that's it. So thank you for watching.